Welcome to fourth grade history. This is lesson 162. We're looking at pages 233 and 234, but we're only going to go until um, just the two paragraphs into this. So we're going to stop where it says the worst terrorist attack that the United States has ever experienced. We're going to stop at that paragraph and we'll save that for tomorrow. First of all, I'm going to ask a couple questions and we'll get. Um, then we'll take a look at these um, few paragraphs, okay? What words were added to the Pledge of Allegiance in 1954? What words were added to the Pledge of Allegiance? Under God, very good. When did the Supreme Court remove Bible reading and prayer from public schools? What, what uh, was the decade? The 1960s, okay, in the 1960s. Who was the first woman justice ever to serve on the Supreme Court? First woman Supreme Court justice? Sandra Day O'Connor. Sandra Day O'Connor. Whom did President George Bush choose to replace Justice Thurgood Marshall? Replace Justice Thurgood Marshall? Clarence Thomas was his name, okay? Very good. So, um, the 20th century was the 1900s. That's how um, it ends with the year 2000. And so it's called the 20th century. It's all the way back. Um, and so a new millennium began in 2000. Um, you guys were not alive yet, but I do remember the brand new millennium starting in 2000. Um, in... But a little bit before that, in 1990, in the fall, Saddam Hussein was a, the dictator of Iraq, and he invaded Kuwait. Kuwait is a small country on the Saudi uh, Arabian Peninsula, on, on the Arabian Peninsula. And they're known for their oil. They have an abundance of oil, and so that's what he wanted to control was this oil. He wanted it for Iraq, um, and he was, he was a a cruel man and he wanted to control lots of countries and he, he wanted to take wealth he wanted to um, conquer nations and and um, it really he was just on just on a, on a war path kind of um, and so um, in 1991 President George Bush we sent troops over there to um, to force him out of Kuwait, and we were able to, with um, many, with much um, convincing and and um, military force, we were able to liberate this small country. Operation Desert Storm was a great triumph. Um, it last. It was our shortest war. Um, it was two and a half months long, but it began a, a long struggle um, against terrorism, against this tyrant, against this man, Saddam Hussein. Um, and he, was, he wasn't the only one that we would come up against, but he was, um, at this point, he was, he was very um, powerful and he was very, um, it was very scary. And so we were able to get to get him out of Kuwait, but we knew that, and he didn't tell us this, it was, he of course told us that nothing was happening, but um, we suspected that, that he had um, a storehouse of building these weapons of mass destruction. And, and we talked about that before, mass just weapons of mass destruction are are weapons that are created to do the maximum amount of destruction to people and property. And it's just awful how, how these things have come about. And he was um, a leader in, in the chemical and nuclear weapons that he was trying to get these to use against America. So um, we had eight years of um, Bill Clinton in office and and he was while he was in office there were many terrorist attacks that that happened to our nation in 1993 there was a bomb that went off 
in the World Trade Center in New York. Killed six people and injured over a thousand. It was, um, we found there were five Muslim terrorists who were found guilty of this crime. And they were, uh, this wasn't, so this was the first attack on the World Trade Center that we had seen. Um, we will see another one, and, and unfortunately this one was much worse, but um, that was an attempt to take many lives. Um, in 1995, a bomb went off in Oklahoma City, and um, this was actually plant an American terrorist. His name was Timothy McVeigh, and he had such um, a strong hatred that he set this bomb off and it killed 168 people and there were 19 children in that in that group of people and so it was it was an awful time um and they also the muslim terrorists uh, a little bit later attacked american embassies in tanzania and kenya and so it was really um the american people were starting to to really feel like we weren't safe um, because it was happening at home, it was happening to embassies that were in other countries. And so it, it was just this, this unsettled feeling for the American people. Um, and so um, we're going to save the, the, the worst terrorist attack that we've seen so far. Um, and I'm going to ask just a couple questions from what, what we've just gone over. What country did Iraq invade in 1990? What country did Iraq invade in 1990? Kuwait, Kuwait. Who was the president that sent US military to help Kuwait? It was George Bush. So this was the first George Bush, George Bush Sr. What was the shortest war our nation ever fought, has ever fought? Operation Desert Storm. And who was the leader of Iraq who we were fighting against? Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein. All right, so I want you to go ahead and read that, the times of testing all the way up to the worst terrorist attack um, the United States have ever experienced. And um, then, and that's all that you're doing for today. There isn't any homework. Um, and so just read that again and um, make sure that, that you read that carefully so that you understand it. Um, and then we will look at um, the next section of that um, tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next lesson.